Good morning on this beautiful Saturday. Um, I made some eggs. I have to go shopping. I'm really down to the nitty gritty here. And I'm trying a scone that my daughter has given me. For I'm going to try it. It's a raspberry and blueberry. So let's see. I'm sure it's delicious. From out uh, in Suffolk. In Greenport, North Fork. Mm. Um, scones are, are a funny thing because um, <laughs> I worked with a woman. She was older than me. She's 84. I put things. She's a nurse in a nursing home right now. Now she's 84. And um, she was a waitress. And then uh, she caught somebody's eye at my job. And uh, she started working in the office. And she was already there when I got there. That was a story I heard when I got there. So I said, I don't care. So she was always talking about top shelf this and top shelf that. That was her language because she worked in a restaurant. You know, and, and if you wanted a drink, you went got the top shelf. All her doctors were top shelf. She loved the doctor. Always liked the doctor. Always looking for something. And then she would come in and I would say, how was the test? Is that she goes, they didn't find nothing. Like she was disappointed. And I would say, I didn't know what to say. What do you say? You say, oh, I'm sorry. You know, better luck next time. Maybe they'll find something next time. I don't understand. Anyway, she's healthy. She was like a healthy as a horse. But that the thing is that she fell a lot. So that's why she's in... um the nursing home she I don't think she can get around um and anyway we went out to eat once one day at the office for somebody's birthday or somebody's I don't know retirement or whatever and um you know they bring you the we were like 15 of us on a long table and they bring you the basket of the the breads these little breads it was an Irish place side tracks in Sunnyside I don't even know if it's still there. We used to go there all the time. Always packed. So um, he, the guy puts down the bread basket, and this woman goes, "What? No scones?" I, and I was like, "I didn't even know what a scone was in those. I didn't know." And the girl goes, "Oh, she goes. You know, we bake uh, fresh every day, and then we, you know, we ran out. This place is going down." can't believe we don't have any scones. So when I hear scones, I always remember her. And I hope she's doing well. She was a character. She was very funny. But yeah, I remember those scones. And then that same dinner, we had to split the bill. And it came out like $60 each or something. I had, a, I had a drink, I had shrimp and linguine, which is my go-to when I'm with people. I just, just give me the shrimp and linguine. And I think we split a couple of desserts, like um, one dessert, three people. You know, we just, just for a sweet taste. So it came out to $60, and then all of a sudden, the other co-worker bombed. I only got the ravioli. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God. I'm looking in my purse. I didn't have money in those days. I'm looking for an extra $5. I'm saying, oh, let me bring out the $5. Who needs an argument now? I got to go home with this woman. Because she lived next to me. So um, next thing I, I see Joey... Italian guy, he's the guy that won't eat any homemade stuff. You gotta bring in packaged stuff. He'll eat it homemade, you bring it, he ain't eating it. Next thing I see, Joey, he's a good, he's getting up, he's pulling out money. He's pull, I got it. Don't worry, I got it. I got it. And we're like, oh my God, we had such a nice evening. Now it's ending like crazy. So then the other guy, 
well, Keith, it, it, we, there were two men and it was, it was a bunch of women. Keith goes, no. It, <clears throat> it's $60 a piece. <clears throat> we're splitting the bill and you had four drinks to the ravioli. So I'm like, and everybody, she put, she put her money in. That made her, that zipped her up. She put the money in and we went home. Oh my God, I was never so happy to be home in my life. It's fun to go out, but I tell you, people, you know, you don't know. You think you know people, but then you don't you know. People surprise you. <laughs> anyway, that's my scone story. And ravioli. Whenever I hear anybody order the ravioli, I'm going, oh, they only get in the ravioli trouble. But I love them, and I miss them, and I miss working. Um... Actually, the ravioli woman is deceased. She died too young. She was my age. She died years ago. They found her in the house by herself. Horrible. All right. Um, <laughs> it's my ramble. I'm going to say ramble. I'm not going to say rant. I'm going to wish you a happy Saturday. Try to go outside and stay cool. Drink a lot of water. I, th I started drinking water every morning because it's hot. You know, it's hot out there. So you're just going to take care, do little things to take care. This scone is delicious. What, no scones? <laughs> what, you have no scones? Oh. That's so funny. Um, I miss them all. So um, be happy because... You deserve it. Peace.